Howdy, so just an update on the 8088. I've actually flashed a diagnostic ROM. Uh, it doesn't do anything either, so there's a very, very deep-seated problem with this board. The diagnostic ROM should do something, even if the CPU is actually dead, but this does nothing. So, we'll try this in a slightly different way. I'll dump the, the, the chip that was in here that was the ROM and actually run it on my XT emulator which I can feed custom BIOS images to and just see what the outcome is. Okay, so I've got the original BIOS chip in the reader. That's it there. So we will read the BIOS. Right, that's what was in there, so we'll just save that as a binary. Just dump it on drive S and call it clone BIOS dot bin. Now we'll go run that up in the emulator and see what happens. Okay, just to show you this running first, I have a clone BIOS, a different one here. So there you go, and it's just a generic Turbo XT BIOS. That actually works. Just let it do its memory count. I've actually set it to emulate an XT speed as well. So it's a little bit slow. But that's that's it. So that's just a generic clone BIOS and it's happy in this. So just one basic auto boot. There you go. So what we'll do is we'll rename this uh, XT clone rum and we'll name this one bios.rum uh, yeah I'm sure I want to so now we'll see what the bios image that came off that clone board actually does oh yeah it either suffered bit rot or just wasn't the right chip for this but that is not what's supposed to happen and I wonder what that would do to real hardware I wonder what those opcodes would actually do to a real XT motherboard or clone board something may have eaten the uh, the clone board which is wonderful uh, but I think that would be the cause of the problem uh, but now it won't work with even a replacement clone ROM it's just not happy anymore Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.